Let me show you how to set up channel point alerts just like this. So that way you can have alerts whenever someone redeems channel point rewards in your Twitch streams. First thing we need to do is head over to our Twitch channel, then go to the top right corner, click this little button, then go to the creator dashboard, look on the left hand side where it says alert. So we're gonna click on the alerts tab. We can click on create new alert box. We're just gonna call this one alerts, click create. And then we're gonna click the edit alerts under the new one we just made, make sure it's a Enabled, so click edit alerts and now we're gonna be brought to twitch's alert system from here you can see it's like anything else you can set up followers subscriptions gifted subs everything but the cool thing is they actually have it for hype chats they have charity they have hype trains they have channel points now which we're going to talk about and goals so a lot of other alert systems don't have access to these things which i think is pretty cool so we're going to be setting up the channel points today so we can get your streams looking cool as a cucumber people even say that anymore anyways if you're anything like me then you probably already have your alert set up elsewhere and your lazy AF. So I'm just going to turn off all of the things that I already have, like subscriptions, followers, gifted subs, basically everything but the cool stuff like hype chat and charity, all the other things I just mentioned. It's honestly up to you. It's personal preference. But let's go to the channel points and make sure that we have this one selected right here. So click on that, make sure it's enabled. And then you can go to the general settings and everything on the right hand side. And you can actually see for the visuals and sound that it comes with a custom one. But speaking of visuals and alerts, we got to check out today's sponsor, Owned.TV. I'll leave a link in the description down below, but Owned is honestly one of my favorite places to get everything related for my stream. They got a bunch of streams design bestseller packages like the Diablo series, which I think this one's pretty cool. You can see it comes with everything included on the screen, such as panels to put underneath your stream. You got a bunch of different webcam overlays to choose from. You got a bunch of alerts, just chatting or different gameplay scenes, and it all looks super nice and cohesive and professionally done. So your stream doesn't look like a three-year-old made it in paint, which is how my stream stream looked like for the longest time. So I'll leave a link in the description down below where you can check out own to make sure that your stream is looking clean and professional. But let's go back to Twitch. So you can see you can swap out different images and alerts. If you don't actually have your own images to put in here like gifts, then you can just go to the image library and they have a bunch of different options. I'm just going to move myself over here where hopefully I'm not bothering anybody. Then you can change it to different options here. They got a bunch of different options like seven pages worth. So that's pretty cool. But you can also upload your own files like if you get it from gift or another location that I honestly don't know about, then you can feel free to upload it in there. I honestly kind of like this one right here. So I'm going to pick this one and then click add to alert. So now whenever someone redeems a channel point reward, it'll look like this. So you can mess with the images there and then you can mess with the sounds there. Same thing with the sound library. You can also mess with how big it is and also how loud or soft the sound's going to be because I'm a soft boy. But if we actually scroll up to the general settings, you can see that we can set an alert condition, which means that you can set it for any channel point redemption going off. However, while I'm filming this video, if you guys use blur for any other sound effect plugin extension that I use, for example, the D's nuts one, I'm assuming that it's going to play the blurp one because we have a blurp browser source as well as this alert browser source here. So you might not want to use this condition if you use blurp or anything else like that. So I would suggest doing one individually, like let's say just a VIP badge or whatever, which I currently have disabled. This is a great video so far. So I'm going to go to one that I know that I don't have disabled like lurk and there you go then we have this person has just redeemed lurk and you can go and do that for each and every one you just have to add a new variant which would be down here you just click add new variant and you can click save changes it'll save the one there and then you can just add a new one here just make sure to change your variant names here so that way you can actually tell what it is so you can change that up there in the top right click save changes and you can go back and add different variants there you can change how long it is which you know I'm not gonna make that joke again but still then we can go to the layout you can change the appearance I think I like that one the best actually you know what this one's pretty cool I lied let's stick with the original and you can also do rounded corner drop shadow if you want to do things like that I wouldn't recommend it you honestly can't see because it's transparent so honestly wouldn't bother you can do text-to-speech if you want it to read out what it's going to redeem so so and so just redeemed this or you could you know just turn it off if you don't want it I think by default it is already off it says redemption message you can show the redemption message if you want and you can also save the alert text which is basically just the text-to-speech and then say the redemption message if you want to do both it's entirely up to you it's personal preference the visuals and sounds we already went over but the celebration these if you didn't see my other video which I linked in the top right corner these can be kind of cool but they can be also really annoying for your chatters so if you're going to do celebrations I recommend doing it on things that are not going to happen multiple times a stream because basically celebrations are just going to send a bunch of emojis and different things over your stream depending on how the settings are that you have down here so this will be just 
over your video. This will be just over the top of your chat. And this will be literally all over the screen. Pick and choose with however you think your audience is going to react to that. Or if you don't want to do a celebration, you can just simply turn it off there like any of the other ones. But once you're good to go, you can just hit the save changes button in the top right. Once you're done making all of your alerts, you can also press the preview alert to see how it's going to look on your stream. But once you are ready, then we can click the browser source URL, click the little copy button right there. Then we can go to our streaming software. Once we're in our streaming software, we're going to add a new source. We're going to add that browser source. I'm just going to call this one Twitch alerts, hit enter. We're going to paste in the browser source URL we just got, click OK. So I'm going to put this here. I'm going to actually, I'm just going to put it on top left. Then I'm going to bring up both Twitch and OBS. So now since we got both of these bad boys up, we're going to click send test alert. It's going to have the alert right here. It said I just redeemed alert, which is fantastic. That's how we set it up. All right. Well, that was annoying. I had to go in and get rid of my other variants to get this one to preview correctly. But otherwise, it just showed the default, probably because there's multiple variants, which makes sense. But for the purpose of this video, I have just this variant. I'm going to click send test alert. It's going to pop up with all the settings that we made it to. But if we had another variant that was just regular and then we go and click send test alert again, it's just going to do the default one there. Also, another key thing to note when you're testing these things, let's say that you're in your actual chat. So let's go to my chat room. So we're in my chat room right beneath me. I'm going to go and redeem lurk and then click redeem. It's not going to actually show up on our stream until we are live. I went live and bothered my viewers just to show you guys this. I'll even bring up a picture of a screenshot that I took, but you can test this all day while you're offline and it's not going to pop up if you manually try it. But as soon as you go live, everything will be working correctly. I'm assuming it's just because it works through the creator dashboard and Twitch's end. So it's like, why are we going to waste resources sending things that are not live? But in case you guys are worried that it's not working, just make sure you're live first before you go and test the actual in chat redemptions for channel points. But enough of me talking, check out this playlist to the side of me. It's going to have everything you need to know about streaming. My name's Cody and I'll see you in the next one.